BC7 here. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to my let's play of Feed the Beast. And this is, of course, the Monster Pack. And uh, we had some pretty good issues there after the last patch, unfortunately. A bunch of items were taken out of the world and put back in the world, but of course they weren't put back in where I could make use of them. <laughs> so I ended up losing a lot of gear. Anyway, I discussed that in the last video. So, I have reloaded a new world after five attempts. There's my new house. And it took five attempts because one of the mods, a something mobs, was actually crashing the game. So, yeah, I had uh, four of the worlds I created had actually gotten to the point where I had put, uh, put a house up and started a farm and done all of that goodness and only to have the screen go black and the game stop so not good so where are we now well i have built a new house your basic little square house kind of i don't know kind of looking for a sort of a pagoda-ish type theme so i think it turned out okay uh got a garden with pretty much everything i could get my hands on you know we got wheat, we got canola, we got different cactuses. I even found a chest with some of these guys in them. Ender seeds is what they were. And although... Yeah, it appears that they grow um, ender eyes, they actually don't. So, hmm. But, we'll get to that. What I want to do here... There we go, here's our barrel collection. As you can see, there's not a lot of items in. There's a little of everything, basically, because uh, you can't but help if you go mining to find a little of everything, let me tell ya. Uh, crafting table, some chests, nothing. Super duper there, little bookcase with uh, my books for the smeltery which is basically the only thing I have built at this point, is I did rebuild the smeltery. We had one finished by last episode. So, what I'm sort of looking to do today... Now, this may seem a lot earlier than we'd normally do this, but um, because of the way it works, I actually need to uh, get into Thomcraft a little earlier than we might normally have in the past. So, we're going to need some tables to start with. And I think our Thomcraft area is going to be upstairs. Yes, I have an upstairs. There we go. <laughs> so, um, where'd our little tables go? There we are. And, one, two, and one. Perfect. Alright, next thing we need to do is grab uh, a little bit of iron. Do, 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 do. Should be some here somewhere. Nope. Nope. Where have I put my iron? The, uh, found one village. Wasn't the greatest, uh, unfortunately. But, uh, need some of these. It wasn't the greatest, but it, uh, gave me a couple of items anyways, so. Oops. And one iron-capped wooden wand. Ta-da! We're magic now, people. No. Boop. And right click our table. There we go. We now have this. The first thing that I kind of want to build here, and the entire reason I've got any of this together at this point, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of thumbcraft right now. What I do need to do, however, make sure I'm not in creative. Nope, I'm not. Good is find a thalmometer because the earlier you get one of those the better chance you're going to have of actually getting somewhere there we go 
We need one of each type of shard, two gold and one glass. Alright, now I don't think I actually have any gold yet, so... But I do have shards, somehow. So gold, hey? Eh? Uh, there's gold ore. Yep. Well, we will take a couple of these. Uh, what have I got going on here? Ooh, ton of iron, eh? Hmm, that's okay. One, two, three. We don't need much gold. Uh, might as well pump some of this iron out of here. Just to use it. I suppose I could have just cooked a couple of bricks of gold off in the uh, other stove, but yeah. Boom. 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 How much iron have I got left? Ooh, lots by the looks of it. <laughs> ah, enough to do this, anyway. We have 27 ingots. Okay, now our gold is come through for us. Have these finished pouring? Yes, they have. So, if you uh, right-click on one of the lines, you can change the order of it. Whatever's on the bottom is what's going to drain out of your smeltery. So, seeing as that's what we needed, we're going to light up some gold ingots. One, and gimme, and gimme. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. There's our six. I think that's all I created. Yep, that's just iron again. So, now, and one of each type of shard. Shards, new, new. Well, this, I haven't been to the nether yet, but there's these weird meteors that fall, and they seem to, for some reason, really like to contain nether ores. Where, oh, where did I put that stuff? There we go. So we need one of each. So we are going to take two of each, just in case. I might drop one going up the stairs, you know. I don't think they go in a particular order, but, ooh, what do you know? Doubles. There we go, that should be all six. Um, this is the stuff, this Ender Essence. That's what comes off of those uh, crops out there. It's kind of weird. I thought it would actually give me an Ender Pearl, but... If they give Ender Essence, I will have to find out if perhaps... Uh, that's where we need to go with it. Now... I need to build the Thalmomicon. Or no, the Thalmometer, sorry. So, one of each of these. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can build it on this type of a table. I think. <laughs> yeah. And, boom, boom. And, what the heck was the other thing we needed? Um, oh, a block of glass. I didn't bring any. <laughs> Oogie! Do I have normal old glass? Uh, don't see any. Hmm. Uh, nope, that's the other stuff. Hmm. Don't have any plain glass, eh? Doesn't surprise me, I like to use the clear glass for pretty much everything. So I'm just gonna quickly whip up a piece of glass. Oh yeah. Darn digger's pack is gonna have that in it. Okay. Piece of glass, please. Do 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 come on. Uh thank you. There we are. Our last component. And in you go. And that should have given us what we needed. However, well, maybe there's a. Uh, I think there's an actual 
way you've got to do this. Um, or maybe it's just a regular crafting table. Oh, I think that could be it. Although, I should. In fact, be able to do anything I can do in a regular crafting table here. Um, red, yellow, blue, green. Red, blue, green. Oh, you have to be exact in where you put them. There we are. Now we have our thalmometer. What you do with this is hold it up in front of your face and look at things. And if you hold your right mouse button, it will tell you either something about the item or that you don't have enough knowledge to find out anything about the item. But the reason we built this so soon into this little thing is because you are going to want to look at everything. Literally everything. You know? Yeah. And you will start out finding out that you don't really have the knowledge for anything. Um, start out with simple stuff. That would be my first hint to you. <laughs> Quite seriously, it would be to start with very simple items. Um, there we go. A torch is kind of nice. And I got two research points for Lux. So there you go. That's how that guy works, and I wanted to get him up quickly. We'll get this table finished off. We just need to build a, um, what do you call it, scribe tool? No, the other one. Um, yeah. Obviously, in the right area, where's our tables? There's one of them. And... Dee -dee -dee. Yeah, they're just not going to make it that easy, are they? Hmm. Oh, well. And we will, of course, need to build a crucible as well. So. But we have to find that out as we go. The other thing we're going to need to do is to get a book. A book, a book, a book, a book. I'm pretty sure somewhere I have some books that I... I think, I think, I think I got them from the village. Hmm. And I'm not finding any. Alright, well, maybe not. <laughs> so, I have... Can make some paper and make a book. Somewhere. Do, 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 do. I thought I had leather. Don't tell me I got the little kill cow. There uh, should be leather in here. Two, 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 two. And I do not see any. Hmm. Well, that's really strange. Uh, that's really strange. Alright. Uh. Who wants to be leather? You say you do. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. Did he actually give me one? Yes, two. Perfect. <laughs> so, we should boop, make some paper and make some book. There we go. A book. Now, does this still work? Can I just throw the book on the floor? Oh, why did it pick it back up? No, don't have the knowledge to understand the book yet. How about... Huh. That's odd, eh? Won't actually focus on the book. See? Chiseled stone bricks, but it doesn't show the book. Oh, well. 
All right, so we've got our thalmonomicon, our thalmometer, sorry. So, okay, that was one of those weird meteors. Did you guys hear that noise? So somewhere there will be a large fire. Hmm. No, oh, didn't actually get to see where it came down this time. It's too bad. So, huh? But uh, that bunch of blocks up there—that's another one. But it didn't. Uh, it's not nether ores. It's regular ores. There's one that landed a few days ago. And you can see that's all nether ores. So yeah, they're a little bit strange. And unlike, oh, my silverwood tree grew perfect. Unlike um, the last time the meteor mod was in, you. I don't see any sort of shields, etc., that you can build. So yeah, I'm not uh, not a hundred percent sure what's going on with that at all, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, at this point, I'm just hoping that I don't get uh, don't get dinged with it. So I don't see any book. Well, I'll have to. Uh, figure out because they've apparently changed how you make your thalmonomicon thalmonomicon that's what I was looking for thalmonomicon they've apparently changed how you make it because I've tried both of the old mod methods and neither one works so hmm I don't even actually see thalm eh no Thom and om, no. Hmm. Okay, well, like I say, I am definitely going to have to look into this then. Because, uh, I know it's staring me right in the face, isn't it? Hmm. Isn't that weird. I need that book. There it is. So, uh, what? You're not going to tell me how to create it? Hello? It tells me how to make scribing tools. It doesn't tell me how to make that. Hmm. Alright. I will figure that out and get back to you guys on it. But I wanted to let you know that we are back in business here. We've got our... Oh, the other thing you want to do is always carry this guy with you if you can. Okay. Reason being, um, you'll notice here that if I equip it, you see up in the uh, upper left hand corner that gold ring has appeared with all of these little empty flasks well those little empty tubes around the ring those actually contain your magic essence of which i have at the moment none of anything however if you leave it equipped in your toolbar and then kill an enemy even if the enemy is just a chicken or a pig or something like that. Whoa, that was close, piggy pal. Alright, looks like I've got a spare sheep. So you'll notice there's nothing in here at all. Let's boop. Take one of the sheep out. Now if we look at our rod, we'll see there's a tiny bit of green. See it there? The very top tube. A tiny bit of blue and a tiny bit of gray. All of those essences came out of that sheep. Although you can see I don't yet... Uh... Ooh, got points for the cobblestone wall. <laughs> okay, now everybody's getting in my way. Yeah, I don't have the knowledge for sheep yet. So... There you go. That's the basic start of uh, Thumbcraft. I said mainly just because I needed to have this device. Now I can actually look at things and eventually oh, there we go. See, different items will give me different 
And as I say, you really want to start with the simple stuff and move your way up. Otherwise, you'll just keep getting that. We do not have the knowledge. We do not have the knowledge. Nope. So there you go. Good simple start to it. Anyways, guys, this has been Species 7. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to put out any videos this weekend, and uh, because I was um, involved in the ESO beta, and due to the NDA on the beta, I can't tell you that I'm putting a video out anyway, because I don't really like the game. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. It wasn't quite as organized as I hoped, but I just sort of decided to do it at the last minute. So. Till next time, folks, it's been PC7. Take care of each other, and ciao for now.